Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to a new video. Now, today I'm gonna show you how to remove the steering wheel buttons on an E46 steering wheel. As you can see, I can move to my couch here instead. So, as you can see, I fixed the bottom portion. I wrapped it in matte black so it looks a lot fresher. Uh, however, the top portion is the original color, which is a bit different. And my OCD has a problem with that. So I wanted to go ahead and wrap it. And that's when I noticed that there are no tutorials on how to remove the buttons. So I did a bit of research and I tested it out and I finally found out how to do it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you can wrap it just like me and get the best results. Let's go. Alrighty then. First off, to remove the whole face off the steering wheel. You have one screw there, one in here, and then two under here. So let's get these off. And then now I'm just gonna put a piece of tape over the holes so we don't lose the screws because they're really hard to get back in there. So now you can just pull this up gently and carefully. There we are. So now go ahead and flip this over. You can see you have four screws right here you need to remove. There we are. And then last but not least, you need to remove these covers right here. So on this one there's three screws, on that one there's five, on this one there's four originally, but I lost one. And on here there's five originally, but I already took it out and I put it back in for the sake of this video, so I only got two. There we are. Now pull these rubber things off there also. Now on these rocker switches you have these two little plastic things which push the buttons. Would not be fun to lose those. Alright, here we go. Let me zoom in a bit and we'll get started. Now let me show you how to remove these switches. What you will need to be removing the buttons and switches is just a small flathead screwdriver. Now, I don't know how well you can see, but for these rocker switches, you have two holes right here. So what you need to do is stick them in. Because yeah, in here, actually I'll show you when I take them out. So you need to put them, put them in here pull out on them and push down. Now one side is loose, so go ahead and do the same thing to the other one. And be careful because these are quite brittle. So here you have the switch. You can see that there are holes here where the where they're supposed to pivot around. And so what you need to do is just push them in so that they release the small little pins there that are in here so now to do the same thing with the other one there we go Suppose both, both of them out now for the switches I'm gonna go ahead and start with the big ones you can see down in there I don't know how well you can see but you can look on your actual steering wheel buttons and you can see that there are small like clips in here almost I'll show you that too when I take them out but what you want to do is just press downwards where those are located there we go that's one that's two. 
Now the same thing for these small, smaller ones. And there you are. Now my backings wanted to come out as well. Uh, not on the other side. Oh, actually, yeah. There we go. So the backings came out, came out as well. But those should be rather, it's called self-explanatory, where they go. Still only fit in one place. So now that all the buttons I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this and then I'll show you the reinstallment. So stay tuned, see you soon. Okay, so now I'm done wrapping. So let's get to installing the buttons. Gonna start with these switches here. Switches, rocker, rocker switches, I guess. Just push them into place. All right, I shaved some of, the, some of it off now. Let me try this again. There we are. Now let's move on to the buttons. There we are. So apparently this had to go in first. Hang on, then the question is just the, yep. So we have to start from the bottom, then build up. There we are then. So there we are, now it's all done. So let me install it in the steering wheel. Yeah, so there we are. Actually quite pleased with this. It's... Uh, 
looks pretty much new it's all the same color I think that wrapping job went pretty well I'm pretty new to wrapping so I'm no expert or anything but I'm quite pleased with that actually so now let's go ahead and reinstall it in the, uh, or on the wheel And as you guys can see, it looks, well, except for the rim, it looks totally brand new. And I am going to be wrapping this, because, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty darn used up. But I haven't bought the E46 yet, so I'm not sure which complementary color I would like to use show you I would like to do it like I did this one so this is perforated on the sides real leather just normal on the top and bottom and then I have the yellow yellow racing stripe and the yellow stitching to match the E46 so I'd like to get a cover somewhat like this for the E46, but in order to do that, I need to know what color it is. So that's for a later date. Stay tuned for that. And so, yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, be sure to leave them down below. How do you think this turned out? I would definitely recommend doing this to your because it makes a huge difference. Like now, I'm actually pleased with how it looks. So yeah, leave a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.